But welcome back to the Devapala campaign. This is the resumed conclusion of the Devapala campaign. I'm sorry I'm getting a little bit tired. So my brain is a bit foggy. But it's all good. Uh, the fifth mission is called Enlightenment. It sounds like the fifth noble truth. I think we'll just go ahead and jump through in and kick off. Just as a snake sheds its skin, we must shed our past time and time again, said the Buddha. Devapala sat meditating in silence for days in the great temple, refusing to eat and only occasionally sipping the water beside him. Finally, he turned to me, took my hands in his, stared into my eyes in regret, and pledged to make amends. Dwell not on the past, nor dream of the future. Focus your mind fully on the present moment, I told him, repeating the words of the Buddha. The Noble Eightfold Path is the way by which one can renounce desire, end dissatisfaction, and attain enlightenment. That is the fourth noble truth. I told Devapala that he still had a realm to rule, people to care for, and borders to protect. That the fate of an entire empire rested on his weary, half-starved shoulders. As I stared into my emperor's sunken eyes, I saw a glimmer of hope ignite into fiery resolve. Another worldly energy possessed him, emanating from every aspect of his being. And right then I knew that the old Devapala had returned for good. He would need that unfaltering resolve in the coming months. Infuriated by his foray south, and emboldened by his failure to hold on to his new possessions, the Pratiharas and the Rashtrakutas leapt at their weakened prey. Devapala still had one last war to fight. All right. So, main objectives. Uh, defeat the Pratiharas. Defeat the Rashtrakutas. The Vapala begins in Imperial Age and can support a population limit of 200. Yayapala has deployed his forces to bear the brunt of the initial enemy attacks. Support your cousin if you can, but all is not lost if he is defeated. The Bengali unique technology, Mahayana, reduces the amount of population space that each villager takes. Use it to maintain a larger economy while clearing space for additional military units. The rivers are swollen from tor torrential rains. Prepare forces on both land and sea, for your opponents will do the same. Devapala's piety level is measured on a scale from 1 to 100. It will gradually decrease over time, but completing side objectives will increase it and unlock permanent rewards. Only a victory with a high piety score, 80 plus, will ensure that you become a bodhisattva. Interesting. There are side missions to reach a certain score. Okay, I like that. Devapala has returned to Bengal to secure his ailing realm against impending invasions. Your loyal cousin, Yayapala mans the northern and eastern frontiers with elephants and skirmishers. Rested and recovered from the prior conflicts, the Pratiharas approach your lands from the west with mounted units and chakram throwers, as well as a small navy. The Rashtrakutas march from the south with a vengeance. Their foot soldiers, elephants, and powerful navy will be a difficult test for the battle-hardened Pala military. Alrighty then. Let's go fix all idols first. Let's see what he says here quickly. Redemption is within reach, Emperor Devapala. The virtuous man delights in this world and the next rejoicing when he sees the purity of his own work. I was tempted by greed and led you astray, cousin. I will hold off our approaching enemies while you make amends. Even if I must die in the process. <gasps> Jepala, no. We will help you, sir. We will help you, don't you worry. 
Uh, should I make? Sh I'm, I'm gonna kick off first with a little bit of fish boom. By watching over your realm, you will also watch over yourself. Okay. University text researched. By all means. Okay, so I guess he's supposed to hold the attacks for now while I do all the side ob uh, objectives. I guess that's what the current situation is about. So we need five university techs. Uh, 20 units converted. Five monasteries found. Uh, then I would like my light cap back. Um, five relics collected and build a wonder. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go and look for some monasteries and whatnot. Wait, there is enemy coming through the middle? Why did it increase by five? Oh, I found a monastery. I uh, found another one. There's a relic. We'll go to that one as well. So far, so good. As long as our cousin is holding off, that's fine. Uh, Jonathan coming in with an eight month subscription. Almost from the start over here. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Love the content you say. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. You can go there. Sun, the moon, and the truth. Such a clever man. Wise man, this one. Um. The level, fighter level is 41 at the moment. We found two monas, three monasteries. There should be two more, probably in the south. There will also be more relics. I want to get ship right. Oh, there's a conversion. Come, come, come. Come here. Yes. Okay, I don't think there's more relics on the top. Should we check the corner? They snuck something. Why oh, did it increase by 10 now? What did I do? Oh, the relic probably? Maybe? Oh, they did hide the relic there. <laughs> nice. Um, rip. They would. Yeah, I'm losing pride over time. Correct. Uh, let's just go there. University researches. So far, this seems fairly safe. A few units coming through the middle, but that's not a big deal. We have a solid amount of upgrades. Probably want to do my Hayana as well at some point. I'm not sure if I have to have over 80 piety. Piety. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, by the way. Don't judge. Um, to actually win successfully the mission. But either way, that's probably what we're going to be aiming for. I guess I can... Let me convert. There might be another relic there. Don't need this. So, five... <clears throat> Upgrades to be done. Could try and convert that one, but I don't have monks right now. Wait, there's a monk. I don't think I get a conversion in time. 
We go like that and try to convert the ship. Maybe an option. Doesn't look like there's a relic up here. Yeah, I agree the maps for this campaign have been very nice. Check this side. Why did it increase by five now? Oh, the university tech. All right. Yeah, there's nothing here. Everything else will be across now on the enemy side of things. I don't have a monastery here. Whatever. Right, you and the soul are crucial to your quest. Heading to the virtuous path. Is the aesthetic sort of map? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, this guy will at least. Maybe I'll find the remaining monasteries. Hmm. Let's send those ships there. We need to convert 20 units, potentially. That might be a bit tricky to pull off. Wait, this is walled off? Or did the pathing path go down? This will probably not end well. Or? Nope. Wait, why does he get stuck? No. Poor monk. Ooh, there's walls here. There's a castle. There's units. I don't want to trigger them to attack. My poor cousin. That was probably the keep upgrade. We just missed... No, no, now the keep upgrade. Missing siege engineers, and then we have done all the university techs. Rank Shravaka. I'm not sure what the rank means. Ranks mean. I wish I knew. <gasps> but I'm losing all my fish. You guys can go down there. These guys will keep control over this, hopefully. Now I can start thinking about... Oh! Man, Lucia is a simple human. We're now rank Arhat. Okay, we got another conversion. We got another relic down there. Oh, he has a lot of ships, actually. Okay, I think we put you guys on gold. I think we had some gold in this area as well. Let's do that. I'm Bodhisvata. Alright, alright. Okay, uh, I need to get conversion still. And now we have to defeat them. So I need to bring some villagers to make four buildings. Hi Viper campaigns finally, yes indeed. Put them on auto scout, maybe you find something that I have not looked for. Gonna go elephant archers. He's actually being attacked quite heavily there. I guess I want to do this now because I have a. S s I can pretty much free up 10 population. What? Oh, he got stuck. Oh, this is George, Volume 2. 
Oh no. Yeah, they're making way more ships than I anticipated. You need to send villagers. Build things somewhere. Did I not pull villagers somewhere? I think I took these ones, but I don't know where I sent them. <laughs> Rip George. Okay, we gotta pay attention. Drop it! Yes! Why is he attacking the tiger? <laughs> Poor tiger, man. Uh, some units there. Maybe we can convert. I would like to make four docks even. You know what? This is a sizable push. I have to admit. Got some buildings here just in case. Okay, they're actually starting to make units now. Build a dock here or a castle there. Let's try to sneak a castle here. That should be a good position for it. Wait, did I? Oh, I didn't do the fast fire ships. Oops. It's gonna be a rip, Jay, Jay Apollo. I believe. We'll save him. I believe. Oh, no, no, not well, they have 10,000 HP. I guess we'll be fine. I hope we'll be fine. What are we missing here? 20 units converted, 4 f the monsters and the relics. That should be 2 more conversions. There's a castle to help keep him safe. Oh boy, there's more units. So we have 10, we have done 5 conversions now. And I'm actually getting wrecked up here. Probably not giving this army enough. Oh yeah, sure, I'm sure riders. Not giving him enough respect up there. Okay, okay. This is the first one where they're actually, I would say, putting up a solid, solid fight. So far, anyway. Okay. I guess elephant archers are not good against the uh, shotgun throwers. Actually, it should be pretty good. But it's the camels that are killing me. Yes, this is a, it's the first new campaign I'm playing. Give me your extra resources. Yeah, it's worth a try. Okay. He is wasting everything here, though, under the castle fire and whatnot. So that's good. The halves should be able to kill the rams. I don't want to attack with the villagers because the villagers do splash damage. Uh, the rams do splash damage. But it seems we have stabilized now. Oh, convert, convert. Oh, let's go. We need... Hmm. Conversions are what's probably going to take the longest. Because in plays like that. <laughs> yes. I kind of want this monster to live though. I might lose piety by doing by not keeping it alive. We're down to 80. I think we had higher earlier, so it's definitely it is decreasing. It's good. They're they're so tanky that oh no. 
They're so tanky that you kind of have time to... Uh, Elephant archers are so tanky that you kind of have time to convert things while they're being targeted. Okay, let's just go there. Gonna get control there. Oh, the wonder! The wonder, the wonder! No! I forgot about it! Yikes. Oh, we don't need wood anymore. All their stone. Is that the only stone I see on the map? Stone here. Stone is what we need. I could just buy it. Okay, let's do it. That's fine, that's fine. Conversions, 9 out of 20. Get a couple more. The wonder, the wonder. Yeah, we'll just pull some more veils. We'll get the wonder in time. How much points do we get? 20. I mean, oh, we're down to rank Arat again. Oh no. Okay, 11 conversions. This is now a sizable water army. Respectable one. We don't have much in here anymore, though. Mix in a few more. Bye bye, fish. Well, that's good knowing ya. That's going pretty fast, actually. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, I know I only need 100. I kind of want to complete everything. That's kind of how I function. I play these campaigns. Also, I wonder if I can get above 100. That would also be pretty neat. That should be another four conversions. Yes, sir. I think we got control over the water now. Mixing some trebuchets. Trebuchets. Need to find the last monster as well, indeed. Still a lot of things missing. I think I want to make a cannon galley in here. Or two. to support it. That's fine. I mean, the one last monster has to be on the next half, because we have scouted everything else. So it has to be on the other side. What? We're down to 74? It's going down pretty fast. Okay, give me conversions. Only one more conversion, and then we're good. Oh. With right mindfulness and concentration, you have reached enlightenment. Nirvana awaits. I'm 113. The one who is cleansed of sin. Soldiers cost less food. Virtues and regards temperance and truth is indeed worthy of the yellow dress. That one doesn't cost food. 68. They cost less food than gold now. Sick. That's 25% less, right? Yeah, no, even more. Sick. Oh, don't lose it. Yeah, let's put... Oh, it's the last relic. That's <laughs> relic spotted. Now we just need a monastery. Okay. 
Where can it be? If you hold off on increasing the piety to defeat one enemy so you don't have a time factor against me. Does it matter? Oh yeah, I should... Mm. I mean, since it goes past 100, I don't think it's a, pro it's a problem, right? That's not good. The armored siege elephant is gonna go for my ram traps. Oh. My ram elephants will be cheaper though. That's gonna be nice. I should probably focus on just one side and actually start trying to kill him. I think that would be beneficial. Mid villagers forward. Where did I see the last relic again? There, there, there. Okay, middle. This is where we want to push. We need to protect it. Need villagers. I guess if I make cannon gallons here, I can also clean buildings from afar. It would be nice. Okay, castle will go down. My piety is dropping. That's scary. Maybe I won't have. I need 80 plus to uh, to win or to have the enlightenment rank. That is still the end goal here. I feel myself being consumed by anger and hatred. Is it possible that I am becoming the enemy whom I have sought to destroy? It is possible. Should not stack up against these guys. Okay, um, it's officially the last relic is officially up for grabs. So I need to kill a red. I think I should have probably added uh, armored elephants here earlier. And okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit on the, that I'm I'm probably on a bit of a timer here. Taking forever to take out this gate. Okay, let's get the cannon galleons down here. Have enough help there. There. Get some rams there as well. They're trading. <gasps> oh. My elephant accidentally scouted the last monastery. Okay, okay. We're still good, we're still good. Let's take the last relic. Okay, we're almost through here. With some elephant or rams. That should be easier. make a push happen here as well that's nice the elephants are not smart and we're getting so many wise words here yeah not a ten piety from the relic 
We have done all the side missions now. Probably rushed the wonder too early. I needed re more resources for army early on. So there's maybe an argument to be made that I did that too early. Okay. Let's finish the docks, please. What, what are you guys chasing one halberdier for? Come on. I have 18 pythons left to kill the bad guys. To stay above 100, yes. But the mission requires to stay above 80. I guess we can send armored rams down here. Don't like when you patrol the armored rams. They actually far target uh, enemy units as well. While other rams would only focus on buildings. Okay, you guys go there. Okay, this is progress. Purple is in a squeeze. Kind of want to finish before 100 population. Or before uh, 100 piety gets dropped. But I am realistic. That might be difficult. Should have maybe gone more heavy on water down here earlier. This looks like we could have taken out the whole base with just water. Okay, carry on. I have so many resources. Why can't I delete all? Weird. Yeah, these gates have extra super power HP. Take forever to take out. Okay, progress, progress. We're getting there, we're getting there. Let's go straight for the TC. Purple will be defeated very soon. He's losing everything. Town center. Last, all his production is gone. He should resign now. No, he still has buildings there. Yeah, but it's very, getting very close. Getting very close. Get the seed workshop and the archery range, and then he is gone. Then we can put all our focus on red. 114 piety. Okay, purple. You're done. Surrender, please. Purple, you have nothing left. All that is gone. Forces have met their match. Oh, I will. I agree. But is he resigning as, as well? Or was that just an added voice line on top of purple resigning? I don't know. But anyway, we need to focus. Eyes on the prize. Should be just a castle and some production left, and then purple should be gone. Uh, red should be gone as well. So we should end over a hundred. in the in the end. Good stuff. We're gonna watch the James Webb Space Telescope first image. I have to admit, this is the first time I'm hearing of that. Yeah, that should be all she wrote. This castle and those stables and one seed workshop. And we will end with a piety level above 100. All side missions completed. Good stuff. Purpose killing your monsters. He did, but I think that doesn't matter at this point. There we go. And just two more stables. And he will resign. Oh. 
I can assure you that you will have no need to humble me again. See? Just be humble like me. It's simple. Alright. Good stuff. That's This one I enjoyed. I think this was definitely the best one of the, the missions in the Bengali campaign. This one was uh, was pretty cool. They actually made units and put pressure and you felt a little bit under pressure due to the piety timing situation. So I, li I like that. It is better to travel well than to arrive, said the Buddha. My emperor and I pondered these words as we gazed across the city from the palace tower. It was curiously soothing to observe from above, as the monks returned to their temples, the scholars exited the university, and the bustling townsfolk rushed home for the evening. With our former rivals gone and an agreement reached, all of these people could now look forward to peace for the foreseeable future. It was a heartwarming thought, to none more so than my emperor. Perhaps we may never arrive, he mused. Watching the glow of the sun fade into a rich muted orange as it sank towards the horizon. But with you by my side, I am sure to always travel well. Cap a pride. All right. Sweet. Good stuff. Not really anything to see in the in the statistics. But that concludes the Devapala campaign. I think um I think the first four missions were very very easy but the fifth one was a bit more challenging and i enjoyed like i think the design of some of these missions would have been so much better if it was a bit challenging like the king of the hill one for example could have been really cool uh the regicide one as well was a bit too easy to cheese that one as well um yeah just a little bit of lack of challenge overall to summarize but the fifth one the last mission was pretty cool um, but yeah, I mean, this th did have a one sword that was expected as well, that it wouldn't be that difficult. But I still think any campaign, when you have a difficulty setting and you can choose hard, it should be a little difficult at points. Anyways, that concludes Devapala. Coming up next, we will switch our focus to Babur. And in this campaign, we will play as Tatars and Hindustanis. So hopefully you are excited for that. I'll see you when those kick off. Bye-bye.